Good morning. Uh, my name's Arthur Lafferty, AASNI TV. Uh, I noticed that the UTV had no problems doing the Inside Show on Monday, the 8th of July, 2013. But of course, there was no government agencies involved, only the ordinary public who they can trample on. I had the same UTV programme who wanted to do an inside show about my case. The only difference was that my case was against government, government medical and legal agencies. The reporter liked my case. I was invited to UTV house to see his line manager. He also thought my story was worth letting the public know what was going on. When my story was brought upstairs to the powers that be, they refused to air my story. No reason was given to me. And after they made their decision, they crawled back into the sewer from where they came. I always knew that the UTV and BBC television media are in the pockets of the large companies. They are told what to show and what not to show. I also noticed two DEP ministers in the show, Sammy Wilson and Arlene Foster, whose office data, D-E-T-I, was in some way responsible for not doing the job properly. Sammy sat there, not his usual self, telling people off and making a laugh of them and how quick Arlene and Sammy got taxpayers' money to cover their mistake and bail them out. How the UTV bosses thought that exposing hardship on ordinary Presbyterian Mutual Society savers was more important than exposing corrupt doctors, lawyers and solicitors leaves a lot to be desired and lets the public know who is more important in the eyes of the UTV board. Some late news, Matt Baggett has broken his promise not to meet members of the public face to face as was his policy. Edmund Poots made reference to his police using touts and handling, uh, handling drugs. Next day, Matt had a meeting with Edmund, so much for not meeting members of the public. Also, Matt is keeping 630 police from the GS, G8 force to help maintain order on the 12th parades. More expense for us hard press taxpayers by this so-called chief council. Keep up to date with news and views with ASNI TV. Thank you for watching. See you soon.